Welcome back to Nexgen Blogger and uh, in this video I will show you how to apply the whirlpool distort effect in VSDC free video editor. So the distort effect in general is really interesting and unique and uh, today we will see how you can you know apply the whirlpool distort effect which is whirlpool is one of the types of the distort effect. Uh, there are many types inside the, in, inside the distort effect and uh, today we will see how you can apply the whirlpool distort effect. So without further delay let's get started. Now I have already imported my demo video so this is my demo video right here and to apply the whirlpool distort effect first select the video and then go to video effects go to transforms select distort and simply click on ok now once you click on ok inside the distort effect settings which is present inside the properties window um, you will find these settings so the first is type as you can see whirlpool is already selected but if it's not simply click on this drop down list right here and select whirlpool uh, by the way these are all the types inside the distort effect and uh, we will see each of these types uh, i will be making uh, separate videos for each of these types so but anyway let's just select whirlpool and uh, the most important option inside these distort effect settings is this one angle delta and um, we will be seeing what this basically does so let me just quickly show you something so currently the angle delta is zero so if i just change it to maybe 0 0.1 notice the video on the screen as you can see a whirlpool effect kind of um, whirlpool distort effect kind of uh, is applied to the screen now and uh, since I just changed the value from 0 to 0 0.1 if I just play the video for you so this is the whirlpool distort effect in general at 0 0.1 we will be increasing the values for you to understand what exactly whirlpool effect does as a whole so let me just change it to 0 0.2 still the same let me just change it to 0 0.3 if I just play the video for you it's an interesting feature let me just change it to 0 0.4 0 0.5 now once I change this to 0 0.6 things start to change a little crazily so 0 0.6 as you can see if I again just play this video for, for you from the start this is the whirlpool distort effect with the angle delta 0 0.6 again 0 0.7 0 0.8 again let me just play the video for you this is the whirlpool distort effect at angle delta 0 0.8 again 0 0.9 insanity <laughs> whirlpool distort effect at angle delta 0 0.9 and let me just change it to 0 maybe not 0 0.10 maybe just to 1 simply so now this is the whirlpool distort effect at angle delta 1 now this is kind of um, what whirlpool distort effect does um, it gives this whirlpool kind of effect uh, to your video but I have always said this that you you know cannot um, appreciate the effects which you use um, which you use in VSDC with this constant parameter value you always you know make use of this linear parameter change and uh, only then you kind of uh, appreciate 
the effects which are present in this software so currently i have changed from constant parameter value to linear parameter change so now i have two values to fill currently it is 1 1 so let me just change this to 0 1 and now watch the video from the start this is so interesting I can't wait to show you what the other distort effects does. This is just the whirlpool distort effect. Now, let me just, uh, you know, maybe uh, shorten the duration a little bit. Now again, if I just play the video for you. So this is what the whirlpool distort effect does before i you know um, end this video i want to show you a little trick of this whirlpool distort effect which i found out or which i kind of experimented and uh, found out um, you can use this whirlpool distort effect in a little bit creative way so what you need to do is in the angle delta select linear parameter change Currently it is 0, 1, so reverse the values. So 1, 0, 1, 0, and shorten the duration of the distort effect to the to maybe uh, somewhere around 1 second, and uh, that's it. I'm playing the video. Notice the video on the screen. As you can see, my video started with the whirlpool distort effect and then kind of, uh, you know, started playing out normally, normally. So this is a really interesting thing, which I was kind of experimenting and I found out and uh, I just wanted to share with you. If you kind of shorten the du du duration of the distort effect even further. So right now the duration is literally 867 milliseconds. So now again, if I just play the video for you. As you can see, this is what the whirlpool distort effect does. So um, that's it guys. Um, I hope you liked my video. Do share with me your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.